Okay, good day everybody. Mike here. Got a little bit of a vid here on a mold. Now, the reason I'm doing this mold, this is the second time I've showed it. The first time I did a video on this mold, I had just had some dental work and I couldn't really talk very well. Um, so I just did like pictures and music. But uh, it's kind of a shout out to Viejo as well he just did a video on this uh, Lyman 452630 bevel base 45 caliber mold and he's got uh, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see this or not I'm gonna I'll roll some pictures here if I can if I uh, have to he's got the four cavity one this is a two cavity and uh, I have cast with this, as you can see, and they're all powder coated. I have a couple that are uncoated that I leave in the mold. And uh, this is kind of more, I guess, of a, uh, a talk for the other rookie casters like myself. You know, coming up this summer will be my third season casting. And the first season I did ladle casting and I did shotgun slugs and round ball for the 12 gauge and th that went really well and I shot a bunch of them and I'm quite happy with that in fact I'm never going to discount ladle casting because it does work anyway then last summer I really went to town and cast a whole bunch of stuff however handgun bullets are kind of low priority for me so I didn't really cast that many. In fact, this is all I have for uh, the 45. Now, I wasn't really gonna shoot these in a 45 auto, which is what I have. I was gonna shoot these out of my uh, 45 Colt adapter for my shotgun. And I, I don't think I tested these yet, but I'm, I'm not sure. I know that the last time I did testing on my uh, adapter, I had really horrible results. I wasn't getting any bullets to stabilize, whether they were ones I made or whether they were ones I bought from commercial casters. So, you know, the thing is, it's easy to be, you know, I, I looked at these bullets and, uh, you know, I was pretty happy with them especially for being a rookie at it. You know, there isn't any really big wrinkles in this. Um, this one, you know, it's got one there on the side, a little one, you know, but they are still shootable. In fact, I'm sure I did shoot some of these. I'm just a short range shooter though, 25 yards at pop cans and stuff like that. However, he mentioned in his video that his mold was uh, dropping at around 200 and this is the note that I've kept in the bag with these bullets ever since I made them they were bottom poor cast out of my Seiko water quenched like everything I cast and then uh, they're made of clip-on wheel weights and I wrote hard just because it's harder than the stick-ons and then I water quenched them again after powder coating now I, I was always kind of referring to this mold as a 45 190 um, and I'm not sure if that's because I found a reference on the internet of this being a 190 grain mold because of course it doesn't say so you know it just has Lyman 452630 BV and then there's a 584 and then on this side, it says Lyman as well, and it's got the 584 as well. And thanks to Viejo, now I know what the 584s mean, you know, so they don't mix up the two halves when they're when they're making the mold. And then down here in the corner, there's a BA, and I know there are Lyman codes for what those mean, whether they're undersized molds or oversized molds or uh, different people that made them, you know, either way. It's a bevel base mold, and I think Viejo said he got 203 grains 
or 200.3. I think he said 203. Anyway, the <laughs> that's not what I got. And I'll be honest, I was happy with what I got here last year. And even though I haven't been casting here during the fall or the winter because of the weather, I've been still learning. I mean, I pay attention, I listen, I, you know, ask questions if I need to. I'm watching all the regular guys like uh, Viejo and Uncle Jim, CW, you know, anybody else that's willing to step out there and, and uh, you know, still talk about casting stuff. But man, I got a big spread. Um, we'll just let this uh, start up. This is the lightest one I got with a fairly thick coating of powder coat. 193.4. And this is the heaviest one that I got with no powder coat. 202.7. And it wasn't until he did his video and he did those beautiful close ups of the bullets that I realized that my bullets just weren't as good as I initially had thought they were. They just weren't filling out as well. Now, there's a few reasons for that I'm, I'm aware of. Um, because I was a rookie, I was probably more worried about burning myself and where is my sprue plate knocker and where's the screwdriver and do I have a butane torch handy and you know why is the wind blowing so hard and I wasn't stirring the pot probably enough so I got a bit of a mixture and weight due to that and then I was also casting at uh, what I think was probably you know much too low of a temperature because I was trying to avoid uh, frosty bullets which is kind of uh, I guess you know a negative at the high end of temperatures whereas at the low end from what I've been reading you're gonna get less proper mold fill out and you know I'm this is kind of arranged according to the weights you know they go the full spectrum from 193 and change up to 202 and change so that's uh, you know a nine grain variation in bullet weight which is absolutely unacceptable for an experienced caster however I'm not giving up and for the rookie casters out there I'd say you know what don't be disappointed if it doesn't turn out perfect you know you need the practice you got to have the hands on you know with the mold getting used to where you put your tools getting your rhythm down your flow rate your distance from the pour spout uh, whether it's casting you know a 45 caliber bullet or a 22 caliber bullet you know there's little variations I've already learned about all of them I mean I did actually have some pretty decent success casting you know this is all number four buckshot which turned out spectacularly good you know very very usable product however when it comes to bullets of this quality there's no reason I was you know or, or you know there's a reason why I wasn't getting any accuracy um, and I'm like I say I'm not sure if I shot these ones or not because I also have these ones which are 45 caliber RCBS 185 grain bullets you know that are you know definitely a little bit different neither one of these styles of bullets is really a preferred bullet for me um, let's see my preferred 
for the 45 ACP is just a standard round nose. And I have a commercial jug of like 450 of these things. Uh, and I don't shoot my handgun that often, so. And then I've got the round ball that I made for the 45 Colt as well. And then I think I, I bought some 200 grain uh, commercially cast bullets uh, a little over a year ago. Um, anyway, that that's just a oh sorry, I'll measure these for you. Uh, the other that's the other thing I noticed was that I think he said he was getting 453, and it looks like I'm getting 451.5 with the powder coat, which is too small. Now on the hotter end. That looks like it's 452.5, so a one thousandth difference. There might even be worse ones in there in uh, diameter. Now uh, that's the, the fact that they're all a little different in diameter isn't a big deal to me because none of these have been sized anyway. I mean, my intention is to cast and coat stock up on whatever I need and then size only what I need to load for what I'm for whatever I'm shooting it in you know whether it be my 45 Colt adapter or my 45 ACP so if you're a rookie caster I say you know you can do it you know and just realize that you're gonna you're going to learn a little bit more each time. I mean, the learning curve is really huge at the beginning, and uh, but you fin you pick up finer little details, you know, each year that you're doing this. And the difference between me and somebody like Viejo is, you know, 45 or probably maybe even 50 years of experience. So. I wouldn't expect to come anything close to what he could produce. And I'm sure glad that he's stepping up and continuing on the videos for us because there's not much learning this stuff hanging out at the gun shop anymore. Those days are long gone. Okay, that was it for my little rookie casting video. I hope everybody has a good day. Mike out.